last night you caught my eye so fly oh my oh my i've been thinking about you all night i can't get you off my mind hi so this weekend it's just me at home um pat and his brother went back to his hometown to help his parents out with something I was supposed to go too but I had a horrible migraine and horrible cramps yesterday so we decided that I should stay at home instead since they were gonna be involved with a lot of physical labor I wouldn't be much of a help so yep this is the first time that I am all alone for a few days since moving to Germany I think that Pat and I are one of those couples that truly enjoy spending 24-7 with each other without getting sick of one another. Even if we are doing our own thing, like I am editing a video in the bedroom and he's watching TV in the living room, we still find comfort in the fact that we are in the same space under the same roof. It might be because we were long distance for so long that we just are so grateful to finally be physically together in one space so we just enjoy being together all the time but at the same time also because we were long distance for so long we learned how to be very independent when we are on our own and we have no problems with it so as much as i miss having him here i was kind of excited for some alone time this weekend and also just to see like whether i can just easily adapt back into it again so yesterday when he left i kept myself busy with a bunch of chores i did some laundry i dusted some shelves um vacuumed the house and also enjoyed a lot of downtime i wrote a postcard to my friend back in singapore and i also play a lot of stardew valley i'm currently very much into it Today I don't really have any plans, I'm just going to go with the flow and do anything that pops into my head but I am going to start my day with digging into my very unhealthy but very yummy breakfast. in my hair and braids around my waist I'm almost a bird These mountain views and pink sunsets got me shit and skin So happy to see you 
make it more interesting, I'm going to answer some of your questions while I draw the wedding card. Thank you to those who contributed to this mini Q&A on Instagram. There are a few similar questions about art like how did you get into drawing and do you have any tips for beginners and I want to draw again but it's been many years since I stopped any advice please. So I talked about my art journey in my previous Q&A video but basically I started drawing since I was a child but stopped for many many years until recently. I also felt like a beginner again and what helped me was actually trying out a new medium and drawing something I really loved. I had never used Procreate before so I tried it and it was just so fun to experiment with it and the f one of the first few things I drew was characters from Monsters Inc which is my favourite Pixar film. It's not really a great drawing but I love it and I just found it so fun which made me associate drawing with positive feelings again and then it just got the ball rolling from there. So I guess the advice is just to have fun with it and experiment and let it bring you joy and you'll naturally just want to continue and learn more techniques and stuff. What's your favourite thing to do in your downtime? I really like to watch TV. Um, recently some of you recommended me New Amsterdam. Unfortunately Netflix Germany only has the first season but I loved it so much and I finished it within a few days. Um, I also love playing board games with Pet. I'm very competitive but he's not so we play a lot of co-op games and I've come to really love playing those. Do you have habits about your hours in a day? I guess you're asking if I have a daily routine. Not really. I was thinking if I should film a day in my life video but every day for me is kind of different because I don't have a routine. I'm very spontaneous and I just don't like feeling like I'm stuck in a planned structure. Um, the only thing that stays the same is when I wake up, I brush my teeth, wash my face and Pet makes me an iced coffee <laughs> and then everything from there varies. What's one thing you missed most about Singapore besides your family and Goldie? I think the convenience of being able to go out at late at night like past 11pm to go supermarket shopping or just have supper. I really miss those times but of course I think with COVID now that's not really possible too. Would you return to Singapore to work or live? Pat and I are not big planners of our future. We kind of take it day by day. So we never know but we could end up back in Singapore one day. What was the biggest culture shock you had after moving to Germany? I can't think of anything but one of the small surprising things was not being able to drink from your water bottle when you're at a restaurant. In Singapore, it's very common but over here, it's more than frowned upon as it is a sign of disrespect to the restaurant. Is there a favourite food in Germany you like? My favourite German food is Klöse. It is like a potato dumpling and I love it when there's breadcrumbs inside. Um, I asked Pat if he knows this and he actually said that my favourite food in Germany is Vietnamese food. <laughs> what do you like living about in Germany and what do you not like? I kind of like living in a country that has four seasons because I've never experienced that before. After every few months, you have to kind of pick up new routines like water your plants differently, dress differently, so it doesn't feel like your whole year is the same. I also love being able to witness the nature around me grow, die out and then come back to life again. I don't know why but it seems very magical to me. One thing that I really disliked was that everything is closed on Sundays, even the supermarket. It took me a while to get used to it but now I am pretty used to it and I actually even appreciate it. It forces me to just chill and do nothing for that day. How would you describe German people? My impression is that they are very straightforward but in the best way. I'm very straightforward as well and people used to tell me that all the time in Singapore, especially at work. Sometimes they got me in trouble because I was too straightforward. But speaking to German people just feels so refreshing to me because it's very straightforward and genuine and honest. 
it just is easy because it's so straightforward. How do you deal with your trash, especially when you order online since the packages always come with carton and bubble wrap? How do you recycle them? So in Germany, recycling is a big thing. There's hardly any bubble wrap being used in packages, but when there is, I will keep them in one place and then reuse them when possible, like if I'm sending a fragile gift to a friend. Um, we have large recycling bins right outside our apartment, so cartons and other paper are all being recycled. On top of that, there are also recycling bins for different types of glass, metals like our coffee capsules, biodegradable waste, and even batteries are being recycled at the supermarket. Favorite place you have traveled to? Definitely Japan. I think it's one of the places in the world where Pat and I will keep returning to. So far, we have visited around 10 cities and towns, but we haven't stepped into the northern part yet, so we might do that in our next possible Japan trip. How would you describe your decor style? I guess it's very eclectic. My aim is always just to create cozy spaces by combining mid-century modern pieces of furniture and boho or cottage core decor. Do you have any second thoughts or regrets or things you would do differently in your makeovers or DIYs? Yep, um, I actually don't really like the shelf above my bedroom dresser. I want to redecorate that area somehow but I currently have no ideas. One purchase that I really regret is my bathroom mat. It's from H&M Home and it wasn't expensive at all and it's pretty pretty <laughs> but it's definitely not good quality or like the material is not suitable to be a bath mat. I would not recommend. For the last question, there were a bunch of people who asked me what's coming next on my YouTube channel now that I am reaching the end of my apartment makeover. So I wanted to answer this question to kind of talk about the fact that my channel has never been centered just around DIY and room makeovers. It is definitely the most popular content on my channel but I don't plan to only make those kind of videos because I am interested in a lot of things like art, cooking and so on. For example, at some point in the future, I want to run my own small business, I want to travel when the world is safe enough for us to do so again and just do a lot more different things and hopefully I will be able to document those and bring you guys along on those adventures of mine. For those who are really interested in my DIY videos, don't worry, I will still make some DIY videos and I might or might not, I'm not sure yet, but I might have a living room makeover and I will probably redecorate some spaces as well. Say something that will make my day Cause these memories of her won't go away They're haunting me so I can't sleep She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep Cause she left me here alone Now my bed feels just